My name is Karen Reed. I'm a former Air Force officer, uh, retired uh, about six years ago now. As a combat veteran, uh, I did three tours overseas um, and left a lot of friends, not necessarily over there, but a lot of friends came home in boxes. Even if we find just one little piece of somebody, just to bring them home, that's enough. It's just an incredible and emotional site to be working on and really interesting to be working on it with veterans because I, I would say if working on it with a bunch of archaeologists we wouldn't experience it the same way as we are doing it now. Learning the sort of shared experiences the veterans have now for the servicemen that lost their lives back in World War II it's, it's really interesting to get that perspective on things and, and learn about it that way rather than a, an academic way really. It's really, it's really, really cool. I started AVAR in 2016 in order to help veterans with archaeology. Archaeology is really similar to uh, both the training and the deployed environment, and a lot of veterans, when they get out, miss those things and want to work around other veterans again and want a mission that really matters. The reason that we've made such an effort to include uh, members of the local community, British veterans as well, is because we really view this as a site that's both American and British. Uh, it's such a powerful story that uh, these people fought together during the war. We were allies during the war, and we're still able to work together to recover the remains of Americans who were killed during that war and who crashed into British soil. So I think this is really, uh, it's a shared site uh, and I want it to be a shared experience for both sides.